Hi guys, I found a mouse that has everything. Well, everything that a mouse can have, not everything, everything. This is Lenovo Legion M600 wireless gaming mouse. It's wireless, but also it's wired and it's, it's not a joke. It has three modes, wired, wireless and Bluetooth. Oh yes, it has also RGB. This is the cable, which you can use to charge it and also to use it as wired mouse. As usual, we have papers with information about the product, warranty and how to use it, and the device itself. This is the dongle, which you can use in wireless mode. And if you do not use it, you can put it here. This is a magnet. It has RGB, well, not for everybody, but there are pretty colors, which you can stop. There is this button here. No, it doesn't stop. Oh yeah. So if you are in wireless mode, you can stop RGB. You see, with this button. If you are in Bluetooth mode, the RGB button doesn't work if the mouse is not connected to any PC. So right now the mouse is not connected. It is in Bluetooth mode. And as you can see, the RGB button doesn't work. Now the mouse is connected to a computer and RGB button works. So keep this in mind. <laughs> There is this switch which has two positions, low and high, 125 hertz if it's on low and 1000 hertz if it's on high. This is only for when using in um, wireless mode with the dongle. When you are using with wireless, you need the dongle to attach it to your computer. When you put it to Bluetooth, you do not need the dongle. So please remember the dongle is only for wireless. In Bluetooth mode, you connect it to your computer. Of course, if your computer has the ability to connect something to it via Bluetooth. And in off mode, it's obvious off, but also you can use it with the cable. This is the DPI. It has four modes. And another interesting fact about it, if you go to the application, you have the possibility to change all four modes to various uh, DPI settings. And this button that I showed you, it's uh, stopping and starting the RGB. There is the wheel, of course. It looks like a car wheel or small car wheel. <laughs> and uh, it has a button also. Right click and left click as normal. And uh, another important thing about this one is you can use it uh, with left hand or right hand because it has two buttons here and two buttons on the other side. And another interesting thing about it, you can bind all buttons. So if you are using it with right hand, you can also bind these ones if you are able to, to touch them. I cannot tell you more because I do not use more than three clicks. This is the white version. There is also a black version. They are exactly the same, only the color differs. This is the USB-C port. Let's see. First is off, which means it's the mouse is off, but you can use it with uh, the cable. I will attach the cable now. And the mouse is working. If you want to use it in Bluetooth mode, of course, you switch to Bluetooth mode from the button and you do not need the dongle. It stays here. However, there is something which you can do at this moment. It, it's not detected. So you will have to open this and you see this button, you long press on it. It will blink like this and it's visible now. So you, once it's visible, you go to your computer and press connect. Now it's connected. And if you want to use it 
in wireless mode you need the dongle you switch it to wireless and remove the dongle from here attach it to your computer and that's it now it's in bluetooth yeah and i remove also the dongle so it's connected and there is a slight delay okay maybe i'm too picky if i connect the other mouse even if this one doesn't have any issues <laughs> both are connected via bluetooth this one doesn't have any issues it's working perfectly and it's 11 years old <laughs> and this one doesn't agree to the fact that there is another mouse connected I'm doing the loops and once I stop it's doing another loop so it's, uh, it's delayed and as soon as I stop this one now it's better but still not okay I did further tests with Mac OS with Mac mini the ARM version M1 and it's working okay so it seems the Bluetooth issue is only with this Mac it's not always it's crazy so now it seems even via Bluetooth is working correctly and this mouse is connected also so I I really cannot say why I'm having this issue but no, no, it's not that great it has a small delay via dongle is fine with MacBook Pro 16 inch the last one with Intel processor is not working correctly via Bluetooth that's it I'm in Windows now Windows 11 to be more precise using the same MacBook Pro let's try with cable no issues if we remove the cable and switch to Bluetooth if it's not paired already you'll have to pair it exactly in the same way like I did on Mac OS add device Bluetooth and while you are in this window you long press this button when it appears on the list you are connecting however sometimes you do have issues previously when I was doing exactly the same thing I didn't need to do anything else it was working directly a device Bluetooth and now I press this button long press the mouse appears here connecting connected and now the mouse it's working I don't know what's happening now I'll have to switch it off and on again after the pairing do not ask me why it simply does now look <laughs> so I switched it off and on off and to Bluetooth and it appeared on the list and is connected so pairing doesn't work sometimes do not try it uh, several times if you see that you got message that it was connected and it is not working just simply turn it off and go back to bluetooth and everything should be fine like it does now no problems no delay no nothing curious it's exactly the same macbook so it seems it's not a harder problem if we switch it to dongle you'll have to use it of course it's here now and i do not need the cable anymore let's put the dongle and you will see something which which was not a couple of days ago while I was playing if you are far away from the dongle it doesn't work anyway if you find this kind of situation that is not working correctly crazy now it's working very nice but if we are moving it a bit uh, far away it's not okay anyway to be sure better use a cable so I will remove the dongle from here and use this cable this is the cable that comes with this Logitech <laughs> and it's just a simple USB 
cable it has these ports you see and this way you have the dongle closer to your mouse and everything should be fine if you go to the application there are things i haven't showed you yet for example i can change the colors i can keep here rainbow and here um, only one color and so on i can do whatever there is an upgrade which can be done let me connect it via cable and see how it goes update firmware updated okay Fair it let's remove the cable off bluetooth ah okay i have to press this button very completed no try next i don't know what's happening i will return well the mouse is toast at least the dongle part i'm connecting the dongle to the computer it is recognized but doesn't work anymore what come on it's not possible oh crazy <laughs> so it seems it will uh, pair when it wants great so now it's working in all modes via bluetooth if you pair it of course you need to pair it it's working also via the dongle it's amazing i was trying to pair the dongle via mac os and via windows uh, these days unsuccessfully and i was about to send it back but i don't know a miracle has happened doing this recording i just removed the dongle to show it to you without doing any pairing sequence <laughs> and when i put it back miraculously it worked if you upgrade the firmware be prepared for this kind of situation this doesn't happen with logitech i, I like more logitech on this aspect they update firmware without any impact to you with this one it seems there is more trouble that's it thank you very much for watching i hope you found it interesting you've seen also issues with firmware you've seen compatibility with macOS and with windows if you have any questions please do not hesitate to ask in the comment section i will try to respond as soon as possible thank you very much for watching and see you in the next one bye